So I wanted to show you guys real quick. I'm putting together the little teachers end of the year packages. So this is what I did. I found these towels uh, for three bucks a piece at Walmart. So that wasn't too bad. Um, they're just the mainstays brand <laughs> beach towels. They had a whole bunch of different colors, but I went with the uh, turquoise color. Um, this was just a printable that was actually on the Pinterest thing that I found uh, for this idea. Just says, school's out, summer's here, thanks for all you've done this year. And I had Aiden sign all the cards. These are thank you cards that I had. Uh, I had them made last year. They have his picture on it. Um, like a really cute picture of him I took at Easter time last year where he's outside and he's all dressed up. And it just says, like, it says thank you on the outside. And then the water bottles. Um, actually... I'll show you what it looks like. I rolled them up inside the towel just to make it easier to transport all these to school. And they just have the thing of sunblock and the lip balm inside. I got like, um, it was a six pack of lip balms at Target for three bucks. So, and then the water bottle, of course. So just a, a nice little present for end of the year for the teachers. And then I got a giant bag at Target today. So that I can bring them all in easily because <laughs> I gotta carry them in uh, like not into the school but to the door when I drop them off at school on Monday so that's that one down five more to go <laughs> hey guys it's Monday it's already almost three o'clock in the afternoon I haven't filmed anything today Aiden had a half day he had his last day of school I didn't cry this year um, mostly because they, they didn't really have an end of the year thing like they did last year. Like his teacher last year had us, had all the parents go to the classroom and she had like a friggin slideshow and stuff. That's what made me cry. That's what started the crying was like the slideshow of all the kids throughout the year and everything. But I was good this year. I did not cry. He had like, they got to eat their lunch outside. Like we had to send them in with beach towels to sit on and everything and they had to bring a one of their favorite stuffed animals because it was like a teddy bear picnic um so he brought his giant pete the cat and he had a good day so now it's summer vacation officially i don't know if i mentioned but we're not doing the summer program this year because for one it's not at his his current school like i thought it was which would have been fine because it's right up the street it's at his old school which is like 20 something minutes away and i've explained before that like that it's totally not worth it to go three hours a day for three days a week it's more like a daycare thing the way they were explaining it because it's not like they don't specifically have a special education teacher there to follow any kind of lesson plan or anything it's basically just send your kids there if you work during the day which I don't need because I'm home so um we're gonna do more fun stuff this summer because we'll have more time to do it instead of going to like a 20 minute drive there to drop him off for three hours and have to go back in like two and a half hours because I have to go pick him up. It's just pointless. So we're going to have a normal summer for once. Um, my Fitbit was not working this morning when I woke up and I was freaking out that it was broken or something and I couldn't figure out how to reset it. I just had to look that up and now it's fine because I figured out how to reset it. So thankfully says I've only done a thousand steps today which is bull but I haven't had it on all day <laughs> um what else I'm about to catch up on orders that I have sitting here um I got a bunch of Etsy orders and that's like my main reason why I don't want to completely delete my Etsy because I get so many orders on there but um what else did I oh we set up the pool this morning actually and it's I, we just took the hose out because it's full already, so I'm gonna let me go take it out here. Although Aiden keeps getting mad because I keep telling him he can't go in it yet because it's freezing right now. It's just ice cold water. Um, but I'll try and go sneak a picture right now. It's kind of leaning a little bit, but it's not incredibly terrible. <laughs> We didn't end up doing the sand thing that we wanted to do because we thought that the land was flat enough right here. Let's see. Oh, he turned on the thing already. I didn't know he turned it on. 
I thought it was going to be deeper than this, but hopefully another day or so of hot weather and it'll be warm enough to go in. Yeah, it's kind of lopsided. It's more full over there than it is right here. But whatever. That's a strong pump for such a small pool. I haven't put any chemicals or anything in it yet. I'm gonna have to do that today too. Maybe I'll go do that now. I wasn't done like saying what I wanted to say before. Uh, Steven went just now to go for his drug test for this new job. Um, and his friend is going for his interview today, so it sounds like he's going to be starting it soon. I told him, like, tell them you can't start till next week or something, and then you'll have uh, some time off. Because he, he doesn't really want to give two weeks notice to the current job he's at because they've pissed him off so much. Um, and I was like, well, you already have another job lined up, so it really doesn't matter, does it? But, um... Yeah, so the only the challenge with this is going to be that it's overnight. <laughs> He's going to kind of get his sleep schedule figured out for that because he's used to... He used to stay up late a lot anyway. I used to stay up late a lot too until I had Aiden, but then I kind of got a normal sleep schedule going. I used to be up to like 2-3 in the morning, but um... Yeah, he's going to have to... When he did do overnights when he used to work at Home Depot for a while, and he would come home at like, I want to say he would get home at like 5 in the morning from that place, but then he wasn't ready to go to bed, so he'd be up for a few hours, and then like by the time I was getting up in the morning to go to work, he was getting ready to like wind down and go to sleep. So it kind of worked out, because that was before we had Aiden. I was still pregnant with Aiden. And that was when he was doing overnights. Um, but then when he he had, like, I don't remember if it was overnights again or some other weird shift. Oh, yeah, it was when we moved here and he was working in that freezer place. Uh, it was overnights. And he, between, like, his grandma having issues and, like, Aiden being a baby and being noisy and stuff, he was running on, like, three hours of sleep a day, and it just, that did not work out. So hopefully now, he can, now that Aiden's room is up here, he'll be able to sleep downstairs, because Aiden's going to be home for the summer. So I told him, I'm like, a night you have to work and everything, I'll make sure I take him to go do something during the day so you can sleep as much as possible. But yeah, it looks like he has it, so I'm hoping that he likes this job because he's having, he's had the worst luck with jobs. Um, and this one doesn't seem like it's going to be heavy lifting, so I mean this, this one that he's at now, his uh, restaurant depot place was not supposed to be heavy lifting and that's all he's friggin' doing is moving giant boxes of meat and stuff all day long. And it's just like, the thing that's getting him at this job is like the rude ass customers, which I can totally relate to and I'm sure everybody that works retail can relate to, but he's like, it just seems like the majority of people that go into this place are rude ass people, <laughs> like demanding and getting pissed off if they're out of something and just, uh, I'm like, I, I feel ya, I know why you hate this job if it's nothing but rude people, because I could not stand the rude customers that would come into Rite Aid when I worked there, so. Speaking of, I need to do another, um, my last installment of my, my retail horror stories series that, series that I was doing, because the last one is basically, it's probably gonna have to be two parts, it's just funny stories that happened while I worked there, um, so we'll see. I, when I got bit by the horse fly the other day, it's been a week and a day. It's been eight days since this happened, and it's still bothering me. Like, my the one on my leg, the one on my arm has kind of gone away. I don't know if you can see, there's still a red mark there. But the one on my leg, it stung at first, and then it was 
like ridiculously itchy like I was clawing at it because it was so itchy and now it's like ugh, it's just this giant scab but it's still itchy horseflies are the friggin worst I can't stand them um but yeah he's on he just called me to tell me he was on his way home because he took the pee test and everything so that's pretty much it I'll talk to you guys probably tomorrow because there's not anything else going on today. I have a bunch of stuff I have to do here. My desk is a giant mess right now because I'm trying to get a whole bunch of stuff done at once. I'm editing the vlog, last week's vlog, to get it up hopefully tomorrow because I'm so behind on it. Um, this, <laughs> Look at how cute this is. So random, but he's even got little back rolls. This is, uh, I think it's made of silicone. It smells like it. Yeah, it smells like silicone. It's, they're called, uh, Orb Mochi, Mochis or something like that. They had them at Michael's in a two-pack, and they're, like, kind of sticky, so when you put their noses together, they kiss. Um, so I got this for me, <laughs> this one, and then I gave the other one to Aiden. It was a little cow. They're basically just like squish stress toys, but I couldn't resist the little piggy. And then he ended up liking the cow so much, we went back the other day and he got a, uh, a penguin, a wolf, and a bunny. So he's got all kinds of little squishers now. But, uh, yeah, I think that's all I was going to talk about. I'm going to just shut up because all I'm doing is blabbing. Today is Tuesday. I was going to go out and get some groceries, but I don't really need to, so rather than drag Aiden with me and have him possibly get car sick again, he was okay the other day when we went to Target. Like I said, I think it was just because we had just woken up and then drove all that way. Um, it's not even that far away, but it's farther than like what we usually drive to school in the morning, obviously. Um, and like my grandma's house is farther away, and he's always fine with going there, but um, we never go there early in the morning, so I think it was just how early it was. I haven't done anything with my hair yet, so excuse that. But it's crappy today, which sucks because I wanted him to be able to try out the pool. It warmed up nicely because the spot that we have it in is sunny for most of the day when it's actually sunny out. It doesn't start, the shade doesn't come over there until like 3 p.m., so... It warmed up pretty nice yesterday and the pool itself filled up a lot faster than I thought it was going to. I thought we were gonna have to like leave it overnight but once I saw how fast it was filling up I was like yep that's gonna be done today. So we set it up at like 10 in the morning and I want to say it took like four hours maybe a little less than that to fill up. Which isn't too bad because I was worrying how big the uh the water bill is going to be next time and I don't think it's not going to be that bad. Hey guys, I feel like I just need to update for the week. What is wrong with my chair? Because I haven't filmed anything. Today is already Friday. I think I have I might have recorded something Monday and that was it. I don't even remember at this point. But today is Friday. Steven got a call back that he starts that new job on July 1st. So he's staying... Like, he gave this job notice, and he's staying there until next Friday. So, um, come July 1st, he'll be able to start the new job. And the only thing that sucks is the 4th, of, like, he's going to work overnight, so 4th of July, we're not going to be able to go to the fireworks. Like, I'm pretty sure this place is open, and he's going to have to work on 4th of July, so... That sucks, because it's technically our anniversary, but I understand because I'm not going to say, <laughs> make sure you don't work that day because he just started this job, so I'll have to get over it. I might just take Aiden down to uh, the parking lot like we did the last two years. We just parked up the street at the McDonald's so that we didn't have to find somewhere to park and then walk like two miles to get to the the field because people seriously it's a, a big thing in this town because the fireworks are in our town 
So people come from like towns over to come to this and there's never anywhere to park and people will start getting there at like three, four o'clock because they have like a little, not a carnival, but they have like food trucks and stuff like that set up and some little rides like for small kids, but not adult rides. Uh, they set all that stuff up so people start coming super early and then of course <laughs> by like the uh, the fireworks always start at like 9, 9.30, somewhere between there. So by that time, you can't just drive downtown at like 8.30 and think you're gonna get a parking spot. So what we did the last two years was we went to the, um, the parking lot, which is like, I don't know, I want to say a little over a mile away, but you can still see the, the fireworks really good from there. Uh, how can, I don't know how, every time I turn this on to record something, my eyes start watering like crazy. Ugh. Just have to do like very, slap something on because I gotta go to the store to get toilet paper. Eden and I went out yesterday just to get a few things. And I forgot toilet paper. I had to basically get snack stuff for him. Because he's home all day with me now. <laughs> My eyebrows are pissing me off so much lately. I can never get them even. Like... One of them will always be good, and I'm happy with it, and then the other one just... Because this one always wants to be rounded, and this one always wants to be more angled, and it's aggravating. I would so get that microblading crap done just to have like even eyebrows for once, but it's so expensive. I don't even know of any place around here that does it. Like I'm sure I could find one, but way too expensive for something that it's not even permanent. Like at first when I, th when I was watching videos about it, I was like, I guess it's worth it if it's permanent, but it's not permanent. I would never like shave them off and get them tattooed on because I've seen way too many people do that and regret it. But yeah, there's really not much to update this week. We had set up the pool and we haven't even been able to go in it yet because it's been cold and rainy. <laughs> I'm not complaining about the temperature outside because it hasn't been super summer hot, which is fine for me. But um, it's a bummer because Aiden was so excited that we got the pool set up and we have not been able to go in at once because it's been raining every single day. It's rainy out again today. Tomorrow and Sunday are supposed to be really hot and humid so I'm guessing we'll be able to use it finally those days but it's been a pain in the butt. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. I've been using the Impulsive palette every single day but I've also had to use my uh, the Naked Ultimate Basics from Urban Decay in conjunction with it because there's not really a matte transition shade in here unless you want to do one of the, the crazy bright colors, uh, which I don't feel like doing today. So I'm just going to... Some of these I've noticed too, you got to use your finger instead of a brush. Some of the shimmery shades. Which I don't mind when I have to do that if it's like a corner that I'm going to use on my lid, like the inner or outer. But I can't get super precise with my finger, which I don't like. And I am almost done with my... Um, my next eyeshadow palette that I'm doing for Orange is the New Black. I'm so excited to show you guys because I'm kind of 
doing some different colors that I don't have in the uh, lineup, I guess you would say, like the eyeshadow lineup. So I'm pretty excited about it. I just went for some, not crazy, but like colors I haven't done before, obviously. <laughs> I was sitting like going through stuff and obviously there's an orange in it and it's different from the oranges I've done before because it's a lot brighter. And then I ended up doing a, it's a black base with orange sparkles in it but it came out looking like a really dark brown which I think is cool because I do have a lot of sparkly blacks in my palettes so I'm gonna just leave it as the that dark brown shade I was going back and forth on whether I should just have a matte black in there but like I already have a matte black in my permanent line of eyeshadows so I really don't see a point in it let's see I don't know what color I want to use today so I was watching, I have the, I recently got the Pluto TV app because my best friend told me that I need it. It's basically like a bunch of TV channels. It's free. Um, and a lot of them play like old school MTV shows. Like I was watching Robin Big all night last night. I used to love that show. Uh, they play like, um, Beavis and Butthead, all the, like, the shows I was talking about that I miss, like, I Love New York and Rock of Love and all that. I haven't seen Rock of Love yet, but she says that they play that on there. So it's basically like having live TV, but it's all, like, older stuff. <laughs> no, I completely forgot why I started talking about that. Okay, now I remember why I started talking about that. Um, they play uh, commercials on there, obviously, because it's a free app and everything uh, to watch TV. But they play the same, like, five commercials over and over and over again. It's really aggravating, that part of it. Um, but it's usually for, like, local Funny. places. And there was one that they kept playing on there for this place that just opened not far from us that is like a, I don't know what you would call it. It's kind of like a play place for like kids and adults oh, where I they have, she's... okay, one sec, <laughs> where they have uh, like a giant racetrack with um, go-karts and then like, it, the place looks huge, first of all, and it looks like American Gladiator or something. Like, there's all these foam pits and all this stuff you can jump in. So, Steven saw it and he was like, that was really awesome. We need to take Aiden to that. So, I don't know when we'll get there, but it just opened not that long ago because the, the ad said, now open. Um, so, we might do that eventually this summer. But... It, depends on uh, his new sleep schedule and working and everything because I told you guys it's going to be overnights for him but it's only it's four 10 hour shifts a week instead of working like five days in a row so it's Monday through Thursday and then he has Friday Saturday Sunday off which is pretty cool I'm gonna shut up now I need to get going so I'll talk to you guys probably next week we're not doing anything fun this week clearly this is a very nothing vlog because we didn't go anywhere will you get off the floor um so we will talk to you next week come here you want to say bye to everybody bye you still have your pajamas on you need to get changed no. yeah no school yeah you don't have school you don't have school for the rest of the summer what are you doing Want to blow the bubbles? Want to blow bubbles? We have lots of bubbles. We got bubbles on sale at Michael's the other day. <clears throat> How are you gonna say bye? You're gonna do a video? Yeah. You need to put your glasses on. Your eye is all crossing.
Are you looking at yourself? <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. You came over here to say goodbye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Where are we going? Go to Michael's and Wendy's. Michael's and Wendy's? I'm not going to Michael's today. <laughs> your ears are cold. Why are your ears cold? You gonna put on pants instead of shorts? On the stair. What? On the stair. Oh, he's watching the timer. The time clock. Well, the time on the stair for you to eat grilled cheese. Yes, I know you want grilled cheese. <laughs> what time does it have to hit? 904. <laughs> All right, we're going to go. We will talk to you guys next week.